it's Teresa. I have a really fun video for you today and it is all about napkins. It sounds so funny, right? So these are some of the napkins that I got. We're doing a little napkin exchange. I got some napkins from Jackie Burns Creations and Stitching Witch. I'll have both of their channels listed for you below. Um, these are what I'm going to be working with today, just a couple of them, and then the rest will kind of go into mustache. I'm starting off with a shelf, one of those hanging shelves from the Dollar Tree. I've already taken off the uh, roping part and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill in all of the holes. Now um, I was thinking, I was like, well maybe I could put something on the back of it to kind of hold it in place and all that and so I ended up just covering it with some duct tape and then I will fill in the holes. Now I did a fangled way of doing the duct tape so the sticky part wasn't on the other side, the, you know, the side where you're filling you can figure it out. I guess it, it's not too complicated. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to go through with some of this chalk paint. It is in the color linen white. It is the Rust-Oleum chalk paint, if I remember right. And I'm just going to do a very messy coat. I am not, I'm not really trying to get it obviously a full coverage look. I want it to be very rustic and very shabby, chic, you know, that kind of thing. My normal vibe, if you will. And you can all obviously kind of get the same effect if you're trying to avoid it, you know, having to do a full coat. I'm taking one of the napkins and I'm tearing off the extra ply. Uh, you can do this pretty easily with your napkins. You want to do this if you're planning on decoupaging with them, which is what I'm going to be doing. Now this one has a repeat of all of these flowers over and over again. I am going to just be using the little bits of lavender. I was trying to kind of create a very cohesive look to my projects today so that is why I'm just using these little bits of lavender and I'm going to be doing lavender throughout the whole video. So I will take the little bits and I will coat it with just a little bit of Mod Podge and then place it down and give it a little tapping just to get it to kind of set in and not go anywhere. And if you miss any of the edges just kind of go over that. That is the important part. Now most of these little bits are cut, I just cut them with a pair of scissors, but you can get a much more natural look. I don't know if natural looks the right way to say it, but the basic idea is just to get a little bit of a softer look, not harsh edges and stuff. You can tear it with your fingers or you can use some water on like the edge of a brush. I didn't do that on these ones just because they're kind of small. It's kind of hard to really get in there and not end up losing the entire, you know, little bit of lavender. So I'm going to do this through the whole thing to give us, we're going to make a tray, by the way. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to sporadically put my lavender and I thought it kind of gave it just a nice touch. It wasn't overly lavenderish. Don't worry, we're going to get one of those or two that have a major lavender look to it. Uh, now I'm going to take, of course, some of our antique wax and do a very quick brushing over it. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure when you're over your little bits of the napkin that you don't swoosh over it. Like you don't want to hit from edge to edge or you're going to end up emphasizing that edge. If that is what you want, that's fine. But I just did it kind of like stippled along the way to make sure I didn't get that. I'm going to use a couple of half beads. These are on the little bit on the larger side. Throw on some hot glue right there on the bottom and this will be a cute little tray just to kind of put in a little nook somewhere in my house. <laughs> I'm going to hit it with a little bit of that same white chalk paint just so everything looks pretty uh, nice and cohesive and it all kind of goes together. And here is how it turned out. It's just a cute little touch to add to something, you know what I mean? On to our next one. This one was a little complicated. <laughs> I decided, I was like, well, you know what? Lavender kind of comes in this really pretty like satchel kind of thing a lot of the times. Um, it's blowing around because my air is on, my fan is on, and it's like the thinnest ply of napkin. So I'm taking a scrap of fabric. This is actually from the Dollar Tree as well, and I believe it's in like the kitchen section. It's one of those really thin like dish towels, but it's not a dish towel because it's really large. I'm going to basically coat the whole darn thing in Mod Podge. I am sure there's probably a better way to do this, but this is kind of the way I went with, right? I'm sure you could probably just iron it on with the plastic wrap and uh, come to think of it, that probably would have worked better. However, 
we're here. It's happened. It's already done, right? <laughs> so I'm just going to coat it all the way down with the Mod Podge and I'm going to do it in sections kind of going at, you know, working as I go. If there's some wrinkles, it's fine because it's fabric. It would have wrinkles anyways. Uh, so now that I've done that, I've gotten a good, a good coat. If you end up needing more, you can always do it on the backside. Like that's what I ended up doing, adding some of it on the backside. Now I do have some pieces that are kind of sticking up a little bit. So I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue kind of along the quote unquote seam. And this, this is about to get really fun and really fast. Um, so of course I ran out of glue always happens. I'm going to create a, a seam. So I'm going to just start folding it over and I'll use my hot glue, of course, to keep it there, to keep it fixed down. And of course, as I'm doing this, it didn't dawn on me, Teresa, you need a bottom. Uh, I'll show you how I end up solving it. It's probably not the most elegant looking uh, lavender satchel, but Satchet? Is that what it is? It's not a satchel. A satchel is a purse. Anyways, it's the little bag that I'm making. It's not going to be the most elegant, uh, but it's okay. It works, right? I'm going to take that rope that actually came from our tray, and I'm going to use that as like our drawstring. I'll fold over the top part. Notice I didn't put any of the napkin on that, and I'm going to make like a little, um, a little spot for the drawstring to kind of pull and cinch in. It's, it's not perfect by any means. I am sure there are about a million probably better ways to do this, but this is a kind of a good starting point, right? If you like this idea, you can obviously kind of come up with a much, a much better uh, way of doing it. I am sure <laughs> it wouldn't be shocking to me at all. If you have any tips um, of how to do something like this, let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear it. Uh, because I think it is a super sweet little, uh, you know, thing to make. I actually just bought lavender. That is, that is why everything's kind of lavender today. I uh, actually was filming this on Mother's Day and I was, I had bought myself a little lavender plant when we went to the hardware store. I know who goes to Mother's Day, who goes to the hardware store on Mother's Day? Me. I, I said, I want to go there. That is what I want to do. <laughs> so I'm making, um, a kind of making a plan of putting it all together. And again, I'm using the area that does not have any of the napkin on it. And just kind of folding it in and making it kind of all into one piece. And about now is when I'm like, oh, well, how are you going to do that? So I take the fabric and I'm just basically going to place it into the bottom part and add a whole lot of hot glue. It is not nice and tidy. It is not very appealing looking from the bottom. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of a mess. I would like to know how better to do this. I don't sew. If you hadn't figured that out yet, I don't sew. Uh, that wasn't really an option, uh, at all. <laughs> so it, like I said though, it ends up working. It's very decorative. If I put lavender in it, it, since the bottom is not coated in Mod Podge, I would still get that smell. And here's how it turned out though. I still think it turned out pretty cute. So today's video, like I said, is part of this little napkin exchange. Sarah came up with this adorable idea and her channel will be listed for you below, Sunflowers and DIYing. Make sure you go check her out and go ahead and subscribe to her because she comes out with the cutest things. And there is a playlist, of course, to see who I sent my napkins to. I'll have their channels linked below. I sent it to, so go check that out as well as the playlist. Now, along with that, there will be a little gift uh, to encourage you in your napkin decoupaging. You've got a couple of little tools, uh, some Mod Podge, and a mystery pack of napkins. I have to say, I have quite the extensive collection, so I will be sharing that with one person. Make sure you go and comment on all of the videos in the playlist that's listed below so that you can get entered. There will be more details down in the description box, too. So on to our last project. It's a super easy one. I've got that same lavender napkin. I was just showing this one actually had on the second, the other plies, you could kind of get a little bit of the image to, to you. So I did save it just in case. I'm just taking an old candle and I'm going to just decoupage this napkin on there. And it is so pretty. Um, I wish I had more of these. There were some, this one I, was definitely one of my favorites. I mean, there, there were so many pretty ones, but <laughs> so I am, well, after I cleaned it off, I realized I had a lot of dust on this. Uh, this actually came from a neighbor and I hadn't cleaned it out since it'd been in my garage. <laughs> um, she gave me a whole set of, of stuff to, you know, create with. So you can obviously, one thing you can do is you can heat up your, um, 
your candle with your heat gun. My heat gun is currently outside. So I uh, was like, you know, what? I'm just going to decoupage it just like I normally would. And be very, very careful if you decide to do something like this. I'm not using a ton of the Mod Podge. So as I am putting it down, if I pull on it, it will rip. So I didn't mind it too much on this candle just because it is a lot more wrinkly and it's going around a cylinder. So that makes things difficult as it is. So I'm just going to put down a pretty decent amount of Mod Podge here on the end and just I kind of pat it along the way. I'll tear off the excess on the sides and the and the bottom and the top if there is any, just a little bit. And that'll be pretty much done. It's just decorative. I won't burn it, obviously. Uh, but I think it's a very pretty little touch just to add to my tray and it'll just be all pretty together. Here's a nice little look at it. And here is everything all together from today's projects. So make sure you go over and check out the playlist as well as the host, Sarah. She is lovely. You're going to love her. And I will see you next time.